Advances in the equipment used by British forces mean much of it is almost unrecognisable from even a few years ago. Entire vehicle types have disappeared, many deemed unsuitable for the rigours of Afghanistan. But not all are cut up for scrap, as Will Inglis has been finding out. Defence is selling off all kinds of vehicles. In recent years, entire fleets have been replaced, and that means they're looking for a good home. Armoured vehicles like this used to be the exclusive reserve of government. Nowadays, though, anyone can buy one, as long as they don't have a proven track record of dictatorship, that is. I've got to say, I want one. Equipment that might be obsolete for the British forces is state-of-the-art for some other countries. So what are these vehicles here? These are Bedford MJ 4x4 four-ton trucks. They look pretty brand new, really. They're in good condition. These are refurbished to a standard. Uh, they've been through our workshop and our paint shops. And there's enough here, really, to start your own army with. Is, is that what they're for? Are they going to a foreign government? These, this batch here is it's the first, uh, first batch of 25 of an order of 50 to a northeast African country. This isn't quite a graveyard for old vehicles. Many will breathe again. The majority of them have been stood down now for three or four years when they were probably redrawn from Iraq. And with that, you get the inherent problems of flat batteries, fuel, and you've just got to start working on, on them individually and see how the vehicle turns out. With them, specialist vehicles have the contract to get rid of all old MOD vehicles, and their biggest seller is a little more run-of-the-mill. I've already got a Nissan Murano, which is like a 4x4 crossover, and it's great for... I live in London, so it's great for getting to or from London, back up to Lincolnshire here where I live. But actually, I wanted something a bit more fun. So I thought, right, I want something that I can take off-road, go on off-road day, something that doesn't matter if I get it battered around, that sort of thing, but actually quite good value. And I understand these are only about three and a half grand, so I thought, why not come and have a look? In the wrong hands, some of the equipment could be used to start a war. We have to complete sales ethically, um, certainly on export type sales. So we have to get the, the, the correct uh, licenses and documentation before we can proceed with certain sales. Or uh, if a license isn't granted, we can't complete those sales. That's it. At a time when the defence budget is stretched white, selling off thousands of vehicles a year is a valuable source of income. Its proper name is a combat engineer tractor. Um, the Royal Engineers using that as the frog. It weighs just over 11 tonnes, most of it's aluminium, it's all aluminium hull, the bucket's aluminium. Um, it's got a Rolls-Royce Eagle diesel uh, engine in, 17 litres, uh, quite powerful. Now where did I put that chequebook? Will Inglis, Forces News, Lincolnshire.